You know you look like Pusha T's like little cousin. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, honey keys, <laughs> honey keys. <laughs> you are stupid. And we are back. Back. And we're doing something different. We got the new camera and stuff. You can see a little more of me. I'm moving. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. We got us. We got a we got a nice little back and forth today because uh we're gonna be talking about this Pusha T and Drake beef. Oh yeah. Yeah. So U- USDA be, choice. <laughs> be before we before we get started, um Adventures of the Black Nerds. Please, this is yes, this is episode twenty five of the Adventures of oh! the Black Nerds. Of uh, twenty five. Matter of fact, yes. It's 25 episodes, y'all. Yes, 25 of them things. And <clears throat> we were we were supposed to announce something at the beginning of episode 24, I believe. And uh, we did get, we, we have to push it back uh, due to um, unexplainable, or we can't explain it to you guys right now type deal. So we will yeah. be getting that, um, uh, we'll be getting that information to you guys as soon as possible. That way, um you guys will be able to we'll be able to tell you guys what we had planned for you guys because it was for you it was for the people it was for the people for the people now i have to say this is first first and foremost shout out to tone deaf radio shout out tone deaf tone deaf man the people over at tone deaf they put our platform in so many other places. You could literally listen to us just about everywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, anywhere you listen to podcasts, anywhere, I mean, Apple Music, iHeartRadio, we are everywhere now. Yeah. And it's an amazing experience, man. And it just I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, sir. You. Appreciate you. you. Know, man, it was syndicated. Syndicated Tone Deaf Radio. Yes, we are. So, um, so what you want to start with, man? Okay. So let's argue about this whole, um, I I really uh, don't even think it's an argument. I just think it's because, uh, you know, say your point. Okay. Cutting you off. This is how you know it's going to be good when I, when we cut each other off. Okay. Yeah. Cause (laughs) first and foremost, let's be, let's be real here. Okay. Um, Pusha T destroyed Drake. Pusha T not only exposed Drake having a child that he wasn't caring for, he, ex- which, I mean, who he had the child with kind of doesn't matter. I mean, we already, at least the girls outside of the rapper circle, mm-hmm. mainstream rapper circle, at least it wasn't one of the Fab Five. Yeah. You, you know who the Fab Five are. Uh, let's let's name them. So we got no. Kim <laughs> Kim, we got um, we got Amber Rose. We got uh, who was the one that was getting beat up? Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, one of the one of Chris Brown's victims. Karuchi. Uh, yeah, Karuchi. Um, the, it, it somehow these women always end up. You know, it, at least he went outside of that realm. Uh huh. Black China's in there. Yeah, Black China's one too. Right. Um, never stop scamming. Um, well, supposedly it was reported that uh, she. Well, you know I'm not going to even go there because I don't even. I didn't even check the source. I just read it. But, it. The, but the point I was making <sighs> is that he. That's that's a major punch, but it wasn't enough. That, <laughs> it was the point of this dude just called him a deadbeat dad. <laughs> he said, "You're a deadbeat dad like your dad." Uh huh. And I think that I think that that pushed a button because you know how Drake he, feel about his dad and his mama. Hey, but Drake started it. You don't bring in nobody's wife. Yeah, well, th- see, this and is you, the thing. This not is the only thing. did he say, not only did he mention her wife, his wife. First of all, for, he said her name. First of all, I'm gonna tell you right this: when I in rap, I believe in any rap, any rap beef. Anything when you dissing anything, there is no such thing as too far. I don't think that Tupac said that's why I you fat. Yeah, that's, it doesn't yeah. get any more disrespectful than that. We but, had we had people, and, but that got to that point though. 
What do you mean? We weren't of course even it did. Here at this point. Of course it did. But it wasn't. See, that was a play on even the dis- even the the mention of his his wife was a play on words, which wasn't. I didn't look at it like, like damn. I, I mean, yeah, he he said her name, but it wasn't like it wasn't like what Pusha T did. But this is how you know there's a difference because he didn't go that far with him. Because he probably knew, like, yo, what if I say something about this lady? People gonna be, you know, people gonna be saying this about me, of the fact that I'm coming at a, a woman, things like that. He probably was like, let me just, let me just play play on words. Now that whole Duppy freestyle, I don't know if you really paid attention, but most of that song was about Kanye West. Yeah, very much. He so. had 100%. in that 100%. in in that song there was it was very few bars towards Pusha T and everything that did come to Pusha Bar hit. Like I said, I felt like Dope Duppy Freestyle was a dope song. Um True. I I just think people gassed it. I just think it was mad. People was out of the woodwork saying, "Oh, he's dead." But I didn't think it was that far, you know, gone from the situation. Now, let's take it back. This isn't the first time uh, Drake dis Pusha T. Pusha T. No, took, not at all. Took Pusha T two years to respond. So two birds, one stone. Exactly. All the, yeah. Now uh, Pusha T respond, with, and then even in infrared, infrared wasn't even nothing like it crazy. It wasn't even. A, he it, wasn't saying shit he, that he, the world wasn't saying. We see not, Lil Wayne's out here struggling. Yeah, Lil Wayne is out here struggling. Yeah. Supposedly, he's reported to be owed twenty two million dollars. Who would have ever thought that Lil Wayne, of all people, this is the best? Well, arguably, the best to ever do it. From True. not only from content, but from the amount of content he has out and there. And then in just the, the mixtape era really jumped. Mixtape era mind. was because of him. So you sit there and you you have Drum. to look at look at him. Like yeah, he and then what he like I said what he said in the song what he said in the song about him w- didn't seem like there was no hatred it was like the truth he said and Ross can, Ross can say it and everybody can shout out Ross but he been saying it and that's exactly how he said it and, and you can listen to plenty of interviews with Pusha T explaining himself on that point so and oh go ahead and I love the point I honestly when I when I first heard that I didn't take it as a diss mm-hmm. I took it as warning this can happen to you yeah <laughs> like, yeah don't he was like look at what's happening to our legend mm-hmm. like look he, this man can't retire he said it he can't. He's, <laughs> he's that's exactly what he said he said he can't retire he got a tour he gotta do yeah. shows and do walkthroughs and he was like i thought the, i thought the point of this was to get to a point where you ain't gotta work no more you know what i'm saying yeah. and and like i said that part of it was there now, with the, the spat between Pusha T and Drake, uh, Infrared, dope. I thought it was a dope track. It had the, it had a plenty of gems in it. I heard that whole album. That whole album oh, was dope. Man. Off the chain. Best song Have on that album. Tried this? Best song on that <laughs> album, in my opinion, is uh, These Are The Games We Play. And, and, and A lot of people feel that man, way. Man, because that literally... I, I grew, we grew up, obviously, in the 90s, listening to 90s music... You could listen to that song and be like, yo, I feel that. Like, I, I feel that point he was making. Or I hear that, what he was saying. Like, I understand that. Especially coming from an era where we listening to, like, and he did shout out the locks on there. Harlem, mm-hmm. the Harlem uh, Hus or the Yonkers, uh, Yonkers Hustlers or whatever he had said about them. But that was a shout out to them. Um, yeah. So, to me, I think that was the best song on the album. Then... We get this is just the timeline. We get they we get Daytona, then we get Duppy Freestyle. So people say, not no less than twenty four hours of hours uh, later. I call bullshit on that because people had the album the Monday before it came out. So I think that was that took some time. I think it was a, you know, he I think he had some bars sitting down wet ready for Pusha T. Now, oh, go let's ahead. Pause, I, let's I, pause here. Yeah, this let's is the part here. we were talking let's, about. Let's take let's take it time. Like we could take the timeline in chunks. No, this because, is where we're at. Where we were before we started. This part right here. Yeah, the, the, the and let me and let me tell you this. So after the freestyle came out, I sat around and plenty of you know I, I like to run my mouth. I like to talk. Mm-hmm. So plenty of people are like, "Oh, what do you, what do you think?" And I was like, "Well, first and foremost, um, Drake did a great job. Of cool. course." Um, but let's be real. In my head, I was like, 
Pusha T, and and it, I said this for a fact. I was like, if he comes out and says everything that Meek Mill said, it's pointless and he loses automatically, no matter how dope it sounds. Because mm-hmm. we've heard it, you're beating a dead, you're beating a dead tree here. Yeah, you, it's it, you're murdering the, something that we already. We know we've heard it. We yeah. know he goes right. We know he has uh, reference tapes. We know, like, we know it. It's done. Quentin Miller. I don't need to hear his name again. Yeah. We know all of this. So, in my head, I was like, ooh, unless he come with something drastic, he needs to just walk away from it. Ride the album sales. Because his album sales did boost. Yeah. Let's be but real. Let me, let, me, be, dr- let me jump in right here. I I specifically said vividly vividly remember saying I could see Pusha T not saying shit for another two years because hell it took him two years to say some say something now but I could see him doing that I could see him throwing a jab and like ducking back you know and just chilling because he don't have to because he, he's he, already got the track record he does not have to it's first of all it's Pusha T uh, he in my eyes I think he's a legend I think Clips as a whole is a 16 legend. sixteen years bro and um. For him to, he doesn't have to do that spat. He could say what he want and just have Drake say whatever he want and it's whatever. He's still going to be Pusha T. But for him to take the route he took, unexpected. I wasn't expecting yeah. none of it at all. I wasn't expecting none of it. The the talk about, or, okay, so now this leads into. Now we're moving on to it. Yeah. Uh, now we're going with, into. Add on um, or whatever. The story of add on. Now. We're we're late to the party, so we get to, we got to watch all the interviews and see all of the stuff people talking about it, and it was a lot of great points brought up. And um, I'm not going to uh, or where we got these from. You can look them up. All the interviews out there. Fox Just type in Pusha T. Yeah. You know, interview and anything within this week of play with Pusha T on there. Listen to it. Because it, it, you're gonna understand exactly his mindset and where he where he wanted to go now, which is dope. Because now it's not about the surgical summer too. When he doing interviews, it's like I, I think there's bigger questions we need to ask. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. And the funny part about it is, especially as a Drake fan, this is the, well to me personally, this is the first beef that has ever gone personal that I really had questions for, because. I we been knew the story of this 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 chick and her being pregnant by Drake. This is old news. So this coming out, uh, this coming out, whatever how many I think it was like a year ago it came out, and uh, she put him on blast or whatever on the internet, and that was that. But nothing else came of it. But for Pusha T, and, okay. So now before you go, your point was that Drake isn't going to lose anything by this, right? Wait one more time. The the point you had, you, were, you were making because we did discuss this a little bit off off uh off the podcast. Um, you said that Drake isn't gonna lose anything from this, right? Ah, and let me and let me let me pick let me jump on that. Okay. Drake made Drake's biggest mistake in all of this was responding at all. Let's be honest. Mm-hmm. If Drake would have said nothing. It would have just been something that hip hop heads discuss. But let's be real, hip hop heads don't sell millions of record, buy millions of records. Mm-hmm. Nope. Hip hop heads don't make albums platinum. Nope. We appreciate real music. We love the real. We love the. We love this beef stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's not the. It's not the deciding factor for the corporate heads. Yeah. Let's put on the corporate hat. All it did was boost sales for Pusher T. Because now you got people who never heard of this man mm. now wanting to know about him. And then when you find out that he had major hits with people such as the Neptunes, Pharrell, well, who is the Neptunes, and then Clips. Oh, he was a group. Oh, his brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, you all you did was on the corporate end, boost sales for everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody's talking about Drake. Everybody's talking about good music and and then all the Kanye release and all the five albums but, dropping. All of this stuff. This came as a result. I'm talking corporate in. But he now, knew that. That's why he and, sent and, the invoice. And that's <laughs> and this is what that is true. Yeah. But then also what makes me so happy about all of this is the fact that Pusha T himself addressed and said these same things. 
he said it. He was like, this ain't going to slow down his album sales. Mm -hmm. He's still going to sell millions of records. Now, this is where I'm going to cut in and I'm going to tell you what he lost. Now, I didn't think about this. Uh, when I first heard the song, I heard the song at work and um, the story of Adenon. Now, I'm thinking like, what the fuck is Adenon? And I'm I'm saying to myself, what is that? Is is that a play on his son's name because he does address With the Adidas brand. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> Come to find out, and I'm and I was having this conversation last night. The reason why uh, Pusha T said in there that he deserve your son deserves more than a press run uh, was because Drake had a line coming out with Adidas. Now, for I'm not surprised to hear that from Pusha T. Pusha T, Kanye West, Yeezys, Adidas. That information is guaranteed to fall in his hand, right? So if you sure. if you got a son, and and it's it's another point I'm gonna bring to this. You got a son. Your plan is to put this late this to the world. this yeah show him to the world not only through a line of clothing that you decided to, I guess, tr tribute to him, but also a song on your album, supposedly for him. That was supposed to be rolled out all in June, all within the next few weeks. Pusha T destroyed that. Now, yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting him to lose sales. What I'm expecting to go bad is that clothing line deal that he had with Elite with Adidas. Now, picture, mm -hmm. picture it. Somebody said this, and I did not think about it like this until this dude said this. He goes, think about what he did, putting. The name of the brand with the picture of Drake in blackface. In blackface. He killed it. He Holy destroyed it. When he shit. when the dude said that, I was like, I didn't think oh about that. My God. That motherfucker lost a lot right there. Because he killed the whole deal. How many people is not about to buy that? How many people is, oh, what is Adenon? But then, when you type hey, in Adenon, blackface pops up. Hey, but not only that, let's take it a step further. You just got that that whole brand tied to you being a deadbeat dad. Exactly. Not only blackface. Mm -hmm. Let's let's take it a step further. Now you blackface and a deadbeat dad. But you kind of you can't. Okay, let let's take a step okay. back. Okay, cultural reference. Yeah. No, we gotta we gotta do this right. Black people can't do blackface. No shit. Oh, excuse me. I I just assumed the world knew that. <laughs> no. But, we keep saying it because people are going to see it and they're going to immediate. We know what it is. Mm -hmm. We know we know the whole jigaboo thing. We know the whole thing is shining light on it. I don't want to sit here and seem ignorant. That's why I'm talking to the camera yeah. on this one and talking to the world. We understand. But we're talking from a perspective because I, I like to paint the scenario because everybody in, in our heads, everybody's not from our background. Of so we, we're automatically assuming people understand and know off top. Yeah. So we understand that Drake is black. He's mixed. He's black. Yeah, he's black and he's white. But he he's a the world sees him as a black man. Of course. So he is he is a portraying a jigaboo, not blackface. Yeah. It's, so, I, but I that's just to that's the that that's the because I need people to understand. You know what I mean? That's the just, I, that's the title for it though. Nobody's calling yeah. it jigaboo in 2018. No, it's it, black. It, black yeah. Face. So and. What made it what made it worse when I seen it, I was like, yo, that must have been acting days. Like he was he had to have been acting for something. When I yeah. especially when I found out it wasn't Photoshop, I'm like, yeah. When I thought I was praying it was Photoshop. Yeah. I was praying. I was like, oh Yeah, nah. I found out when I found Ooh. out it was Photoshop, dude, this is how I knew Pisha T did his homework. He tagged the photographer. <laughs> he hit he hit them all. He hit them all with the information that you need. He said, This is not Photoshopped. This is a real photo taken by such and such. Swipe up to listen to the story of Adenon. <laughs> and the crazy part about all of that is, uh, or well, actually, we, we just we just said it. With all of this happening in a few weeks from now, all of this is supposed to happen in a few weeks. Pusha T stomped all over that. So yeah, I think ultimately Drake lost something because I can see people saying, "Yo." I, people are saying, what is Adenon? I didn't know what Adenon was until all this information started coming out. If this is the case, because to be honest, we're still speculating here. If True. all of this is still the case, 
Drake lost something and he lost something pretty big, especially for him to put his name on any brand. Because what brands do we see him put his name on? He rock with and he stay with them heavy. Obviously, True. he got his own OVO thing, but Jordan's, Jordan. he's he's, he's in there, Sprite, Apple, all of that shit, he keeps real close-knitted. He wanted with that realm. He wants it to stay within that. So for him to jump on Adidas, get the deal he got, and then all of this shit to roll out the way it did, that month, he, oh. lost, he lost something, you know? Hey. And that's why he was like, yo, that's the best marketing thing you could do. Literally put the story of Adenon, put Drake in blackface as your thumbnail, and now, because oh. I'm thinking like, yo, is Adenon like another name for Drake or? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like oh, I, yeah. When I first when it first came about, until I heard about the clothing deal, yeah, that's until I heard the line about the whole clothing deal, and then I was like, ah, and then I heard an interview, and they were like, yeah. It's a mix of Adidas and Adonis. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Man. So now. But I didn't even think on that level. That added a whole new element. I didn't it. think of it either. That's why I said, that's why when you when you said it, I was like, and you was like, yo, this is stuff we could talk on the podcast. I'm like, let's roll it. Because <laughs> I man. I was not thinking about it until I heard that dude say it. And once he said it, I was like, yes. Because when you type in the story of Ad Adonis, go Google it right now. Are you Drake been added on? Period. Drake <laughs> with the white gloves and the red, he pop up. Who wants that? Nobody no. wants that. You no. see what I'm saying? So he, I especially think, a major brand. Yeah, and this is why. This is why I say now, post all of this shit. I think it puts Drake in a position to have to answer some questions. You see, he already started. You see, he now, already me, started. Now let let's let let me jump in. Go. He made major mistakes by answering questions. He has to. Because no. Let me tell no, you why. We, no, 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 no. We want him to answer questions. Mm. We want him just like we wanted to know who Becky with the good hair was. Mm. Beyonce still didn't tell everybody who Becky with the good hair was. Hey, that's different. Nobody though. no no, it's not. I'ma tell you it's, why. I'm gonna tell you why. Go ahead. It's different because and and first of all, let's start with the with the the Jigaboo, the blackface thing. As a fan of Drake, I want to know what the hell you was doing. That's why that was the first thing he addressed. Oh, this was, I did this. I was, you know, doing a but play how cheesy about. And stupid did yeah. he sound? Of course, he gonna sound cheesy regardless. You cannot explain so that. So why not just say nothing? <laughs> now, if you already know now think about it. Now think, a, come out that th way. think about it. Think about it. Think about what we just talked about with Adidas, this big corporate company. That's branding you with your own line. You got to answer for that. Hey, you Recard. gonna put out? You gonna have to put out a statement but, but, saying but this, that, you. and the third. Because if my now, if Adenon is a brand that we're supposed to put out under Adidas is associated with this, you need to answer for this. Somebody needs to say something about it because nobody wants now. Nobody wants Adidas to be associated with blackface. But this is what I'm about to say. It's burnt. It's done. If they were going to kill it, regardless of how good his answer was, they're still going to kill it. Mm -hmm. Because you have this international, worldwide known star who you're branding this whole new segment of clothing around came out and just said and, and now this is all linked with him and blackface. Exactly. So, regardless of what he was going to say, publicly, it sounded dumb, and he got ripped for it. It's gonna sound dumb regardless, and that's why he should have said nothing. That and I, I don't think I think he has to say. I think he has a lot to say. Only reason, and another reason why I say not that, to us as the public. Another now, to answer to answer to another. Adidas, yeah, he got another to reason to why about. is he's he's always been public with everything he's did. He came straight head first with the whole Quentin Miller, uh, ghostwriting things and said what he said. That shit sounded stupid back then. So, it's going to sound stupid regardless of who says it, yeah, when they say it, how cheesy. they write it. If No one could have wrote it and make it, made it sound a lot better because people are going to still have questions regardless. And now, if he answers questions he already answers, I think he's going a little bit too far. If he answers it, bang, cool. Drake's life is already in the public. 
Drake always talking about his mama. Drake always talking about his daddy. Drake gonna have to talk about his son now. He was gonna do it in the album, for what we know. He had a line coming out for him. So, these are things that we were going to know at some point. Drake got a son. Drake got a son with a stripper. Bang, bang, bang. That was, like I said, already, that was already in the in the public's eyes. We just never thought about Fun it. Summer. We didn't even look about it no more because of whatever it was. Now, with Drake not saying anything, that's all he's going to hear. He he wouldn't be able to leave his house. He wouldn't be able to go nowhere. Yes, it's still Drake. People still going to love his music. Still Drake. Drake's still going to sell millions. Still going to be the guy with 10 number one songs on Billboard, top 100. It's still Drake at the end of the day. Musically, it's still going to be Drake. Still Drake. I'm just saying, if you can, if you can answer to Quentin Miller still to this day, Exposing Quentin Miller for working at Kroger, working double time at Kroger. You was trying to help the guy, motherfucker. You can answer some of these questions. That was so dirty. You, and Quentin Miller didn't do nothing. <laughs> he just sitting there, and then even Pusha T was like, "I'm, I'm really hurt that he didn't say hurt, but he was like, I'm bothered that somebody who's really trying to make it got thrown into this." Because mm -hmm. Quentin Miller didn't. Quentin Miller was rocking did with nothing Drake. Remember, wrong. he said Drake was the best. He, he loved creating with Drake. Yo, how you just going to throw your mans under the bus like that? Like, Bro, he did that. I just, was like... How you just going to... And, and, and yeah, granted, Quentin Miller did drop a, a song. But it, the song wasn't even... I don't even remember the song. I just remember listening to it one time and that was that. And yeah, he's right. He got bars, but his delivery is trash. I think I've even heard uh, academics say that before. And it is what it is. <laughs> Yo, you just can't deliver the songs. But... In rap, especially in rap, rap is the only form of art where at some point you gonna answer for some shit. Like whether you make a song, whether you make a diss song, you're gonna address it somehow, some way. And that's why I say it's different from the Becky with the good hair. And and then you gotta think about it too. Beyonce in in, in the light like that. Beyonce is tucked away in the in her home or wherever she's True. doing. Fact. She's not she's not in the public. When she come out. She wave, take her pictures, and then we don't never hear or see of her. I, I the funny part is I ain't even see. I just when every time I see her kids, they just look older. Right, they just <laughs> like time jumps. Yeah, time they jump. they literally Ooh. they literally Ooh. hit Ooh. hit the assassin time skip to like three years old, four years old. I couldn't believe they first blue was so old. I didn't realize so, she. she so was let's that. wrap it back up. Yeah. Who do you think won? I think as of right now, Pusha T got it. And um, for one, it's because it's fresh. Story of Adonan is fresh. And I think I think that was a pure diss track going straight at Drake. Uh, I think Drake messed up just like a lot of people mess up when they they don't shed light on the person that they're supposed to come. Like, like Pusha said, I want all the curses. It should have just been about Pusher. You should never have brought Kanye West in that situation because Kanye West said nothing. Everything Pusher said about you and Kanye was all speculation at that point. So you should have left it alone. Then obviously this is me talking to you, Drake. I am no expert. Uh, just my opinion here. But you should have left. You should. You should have left Yeezy alone, and you should have went straight at. Uh, you should have went straight at Pusher, aka uh, King Push. Uh, I'm not going, you know, I don't know why I call him King Push. I just think Pusha T is enough. Uh, and right, that's another like, thing. Pusha Terrence. Pusha Terrence. <laughs> I, another thing is, another conversation I was having, and this would probably be a good time to have it uh, with you. A lot of people talk about, uh, oh, yeah, well, I don't I don't believe Pusha when he talk about all the I don't believe none of these rappers. <laughs> I don't believe, if you sit up and you believe what I remember having this conversation. Oh yeah, Young Dolph said he sells an eight ball. You believe him? I don't believe none of these rappers. Only thing I believe about Young Dolph is that Young Dolph dodged bullets professionally, mm -hmm. and that's because there's proof. <laughs> Young Dolph got nine shots. lives. <laughs> hundred shots. Young... Oh, you miss a whole hundred shots. Hey, <laughs> and and it's just and that's just my opinion. Like a lot of people yeah. listen to music and they. They fully get like, oh yeah, it's but I believe it. Man, if you sit up here believing these rappers what they say, man, if you don't sit down and relax. First off, 
First off, at what point do you stop trapping? Like, bro, you just sold a million records yeah, and you're I, like, an independent damn. label. Like, you, you have your own record label. So I hope you don't have to sell drugs I, anymore. I hope you ain't pushing like, 100 keys. <laughs> like, please, sir, please sit down and retire. You, you don't have to be in the streets no more. Yeah, like, man. You out here pushing hey, 100 I, keys? I, That's crazy. Yeah, like, why, why? Why, man? They're going to throw you under the jail and you got all this. Yeah, can't and that, even get bail. And that's another even and, get bail. and the the see the beauty of rap when people say like, well, how can rappers talk about guns and stuff that they don't have? Well, first of all, just like you can go watch a movie about Denzel Washington being a dirty cop, still make believe at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Yeah. You don't have to. It don't have to be a hundred percent true. Now, granted, best some of the best music we've heard is true stories and shit like true that. Stories. I don't believe. And now, and now. The reason why it's some of the best is because it's not, it sounds pure. Exactly. It don't sound forced. Mm -hmm. It don't sound, it don't sound heavily and edited. Real, real um, quick, a close yeah. friend of ours said he believed, he believed uh, Malice was doing it because only a crazy person would be in the streets and then go straight to, straight to, uh, praising Jesus. <laughs> uh, he said, I believe him because... Hey, crazy that, people do you know, that. Ain't that ain't that something that usually is how the how it goes? Mm -hmm. Like you go from going hardcore and now you big time church. Yeah. Church go or open but, a church and become a pastor. But at the but at the same time though, um I yeah, I I think Pusha T has it right now. This shit could flip flop tomorrow. Drake could drop some shit that's and But Okay. I, and you know what? You're right. It can't flip flop. Because I didn't think it could flip this way. Because yeah. th I'm gonna tell you, I and I'm a, and then we can jump ship after this. I honest to God thought Pusha T was gonna come back talking about Quentin again, mm -hmm. talking about ghost writing, talk. And I was so thankful that he said it. He was like, "Let's take away me being a drug dealer. Let's take away drug you. dealing aside, ghost writing yeah. aside. Let's yeah, let's, heart the let's, heart let's about your pride. Let's I put said, that to the song. when I, I heard like, that, I said, "Damn, oh, son." So what are you about to say? <laughs> Look, I was like, oh. And then he, and then he used the dopest beat he could ever think of. I'm sitting there like, oh, okay. And then I'm, as I'm listening. aggressive as Pusha T is, what made that track so perfect? Mm -hmm. He was just talking to him. Mm -hmm. He was like, Listen, young man. I'm not. I'm, I'm a hip hop fan. At the end of the day, uh, so when I tell you that, I, I think. I think that was that was just like when people when I talk about takeover versus ether, that was a sit down. Just like Nas did to Jay Z, he's like, come here, come come sit right here on my lap. Mm -hmm. This is Dad talking to Son right now, <laughs> and that's it. And yep. even the even the shit about the shit about his mom, his shit about his dad was in there. I was like, damn, like we ain't, like what Meek. Think about it, Meek. When Meek went at him, it was about the the, the shit we talked about. So Meek it was about his status as a rapper. Was the was the guinea pig? <laughs> Meek was out here. Oh yeah, you don't write your own songs, and you ain't got this, you ain't got that. And what did Drake do? Drake dropped two songs. I'm charged up. Almost won a Grammy off of one. How do you almost he, win a Grammy <laughs> off of? How do you almost win a Grammy off of this song? He had to tell people. I'm done doing this song. I'm not performing yeah. this song no more. He went to Philly and performed the song. Yeah, he did. I remember that. What? What? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and like I said, I was telling um, this dude that work, compared to Infrared, Duppy Freestyle will stand the test of time longer. Yes. Yeah. Naturally, oh. it's Drake. But yeah. the story of Adonis, or of Adonan, I don't know. It's they're pretty much neck and neck. I've been listening to them. But let me let me tell you let me tell you this though. Mm -hmm. Outside of how drastic it is, yeah. Because it wasn't an original beat in comparison to Duppy Freestyle, mm -hmm. that that always you gotta take that into account. Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. You have to. Drake can like, make money off of his song. There you boom. It, That's why you. it would stay a thank test you. of time. The thank only you. reason why I say this I the story say. the story of Adonan was cool is because we know that beat from being and then the beat just fits so perfect. Because it, it was a story. The, it fit the situation. Why even try to recreate it if this was sitting right here? It's just the perfect thing to do. 
and it, Bro, it literally I'm, it wasn't a dope beat. It, I mean, it wasn't. I won't say it wasn't a dope beat. It wasn't like a beat that overpowered the song because the song or the lyrics overpowered the beat in that in that regard. So, um, ah, yeah, I, I'm gonna say Push got it right now. Um, we'll see what happens with the the rebuttal because I I always love to hear somebody rebuttal. Because you actually have the upper hand when you get the rebuttal. Because now you get to say what you want to say about what he said or what she said. So, yeah, what do you think? Who do you think got it? Oh, push a T. Oh, push a T. Hands for, down, got it? Hands down. Mm. But at the, now you already know how I feel because I like to look at different angles. Because mm. if you look at anything from one perspective, you're missing the big picture. Of course. Big picture, all it is. Now we know Drake's a bummy dad. <laughs> who own, who's going to profit off of his finding out about his after accepting his son. Mm-hmm. These are facts. Well, so These are- supposedly, and this is all uh, allegedly as well, that he has been paying for the child. Oh, take that back. That's not alleged. TMZ pulled that. Oh, okay. So TMZ, TMZ pulled that. So he's been mind. making so paychecks been to funding, the kids. but He's been funding his son. Yeah. But now, when I think of Drake, and this is the last I'm talking about it. Oh, that, I no. Whole episode about Drake. No. Now, I got one more point that I was going to say to you that you just reminded me of. Okay. Now, Drake being the emotional in his feelings, talking about what's real rapper, Mm -hmm. talking about how much his situation with his dad was a problem for him. Mm -hmm. For him to turn around and do the same, not the same thing, but do something along those lines. To make you comparable to your dad. That's drastic. Yeah. Like, you, you don't have the excuse of not having the money the time or the cloud or the ability, like, why wouldn't you pull a DJ Khaled and have your son on the cover of every album? All right, now I'm, I'm gonna say this: um, uh, the the reason why with that that part when Pusha mentioned that, or obviously when the world started talking about it, I didn't really see too much into it because, I first of all, we don't know what type of parent he wants to. Yeah, be. we don't know because he could be know. that parent that. I don't want my son on the gram. I don't want my son on Twitter. Which is fair. I, he may know you may know his name when but I tell you. But you're getting ready name. to do a clothing line. Yeah, and and this could have been something for him. Like I said, this is me playing devil's advocate. <clears throat> this could have been something for him. This could have been something for the light that I'm about to tell people I got a I got a son, or I'm about to officially claim him, as some would say. But I'm not. I wasn't too mad at that because. I don't know what type of father he wants to be. True. You know, because there's a lot of people and this is the same. uh, This was in another interview as well. The same people. There's a lot of people out there that don't have their kids on the gram. None of them is a Sean. Like, you know, none of them is DJ Khaled. None of them have that situation. And maybe that's not what he wanted. Now, this is why I say he got to answer some questions. Because if he then puts his uh, makes a song about his son, does a clothing line about his son, will the world get to see your son? Are you like now? Are you gonna be running them all? <laughs> because now, if we do, yeah. that shit's gonna like oh now yeah. push your team, push your team more of a father to your son than you as a father. Yeah. You don't want them type of you don't want that type of smoke. So yeah. it's like those are the things you gotta. That's that like you said, looking at it from different angles. That's how I thought True. about it. That's why I was True. like. You don't know, dog. Maybe you should now. keep that boy where he at. Maybe com- continue playing Border Patrol. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, boy, I tell you that that. Mm. Now, All right, so now next topic. Now we got to jump on. Yeah, right. That's what I was about to say. So I love my segues straight to the right. Point, did so. you did you hear about uh, PUBG Corp suing Fortnite? Mm. Mm, I wasn't expecting that one either. <laughs> That's the best diss track. <laughs> Man, that is okay. They won now, one, so <laughs> shit. Let's uh, go ahead and get the other ones in. Bro, I'm going to tell you this. The only reason I have a problem with them doing this is you didn't do it immediately. Yeah. That's why a lot you of people. Waited, you waited until you started getting your ass handed to you. Mm-hmm. By this company, Financial. first she was down. First she was down for the competition. First she was oh, because competition is good. Let's be real. Here. Actually, you have options. No, the the creator, player unknown, was not down for the competition off the rip. 
Oh, up front, he wasn't yeah, with it. He was but not the with people it. who, but the people, the who big money, it. yeah, yeah, they, oh, uh, they yeah. was mobile devices and 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 Xbox exclusive. We gonna get this dope early exclusive. And, and 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 let me tell you, and as we know, mm-hmm. with a lot of businesses, yeah, bean counters, the money people, they're not they're not feet on the ground. They're yeah, not. They don't play the, the game. They're not. They don't play the game. They don't see what's happening. I knew Fortnite was the real when everywhere I went where kids were sitting down, like if I'm at a restaurant, kids, if you want to know the new trends, and this is, I'm looking in the camera because I'm talking to the world. If you want to know the trends, what to invest in, what's about to be popular, see what your kids are playing. Mm -hmm. Or follow your wife to the store. Man, see what kids are watching on YouTube. See what games they're playing. See what they're talking about. When they say children are the future, they mean that. <laughs> Look what happened. Yeah. Fortnite became everything. Mm-hmm. When you go somewhere and every the most watched videos are videos mm-hmm. of people playing Fortnite. Yeah. The the number one matter of fact, I'm gonna check right now. The yep, number right one it. viewed game for the past however has been Fortnite. It's it's absolutely yonkers, man. It's crazy. Let's see. Yep, Fortnite, two hundred and eighty-five thousand people it's watching views right now. PUBG as 61. we speak. PUBG is behind League of Legends and IRL mm-hmm. in real life. Now, what does that say? That tells us now. And dang, you see how much difference it is: two hundred and eighty-five thousand to sixty-one thousand. Mm-hmm. That's not small. That's a no. huge... and and also think about it. It's still well if ninjas on people's in class watching ninja not doing no homework or studying. But sixty one thousand right now for them to be in fourth place. This ain't even prime time day numbers. Yet. True. So, but that but look at Fortnite's numbers and it's not prime time. That's why I said if ninjas on, if ninjas on, you getting them numbers. <laughs> you getting the numbers. You crack. You're I don't cracking. know. If, I don't know if ninjas on right now, but if he on. Them the numbers you expect because people ditch. I I was listening to this kid. I'm, I went to I went to Starbucks the other day for the first time and sat down. It was the best experience. You didn't I've, fear for your life? No, I did, did not. Did they treat you like a god? Yes, they did. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nah, um, it it was a Starbucks I I go to regularly. Uh, and some of the people in there I know they're pretty cool. And um, oh. I sat down and uh. You stupid. Cool <laughs> you stupid. I got three beverages, just so you know. <laughs> uh, sat down, used their Wi-Fi and everything, and it was two kids in their ditch school. And they were in there. One was watching Fortnite. The other was playing Fortnite. See what I'm saying? So. See what they out there risking getting busted by a truancy officer. Uh-huh. R- playing Fortnite. <laughs> playing they Fortnite. Could've, oh, they could have went somewhere else to play. But, mm-hmm. but, that's, but that is my point. Yeah. Now wrapping it back up, I am bothered that PUBG waited to get, for it to get to this point. It's bitter at this point. At this point, you're just being bitter. Now it's spiteful. Yeah, that's or, that's a better and, word. Yeah, and yes, the cop the property is yours. If you win, you win rightfully. So I'm not against that. But you should have did this before it became a titan. Mm-hmm. You should have. The game still is in beta. Still early access. <laughs> it's still early access. PUBG still Sweet early access. Church. Sweet church. The top two games right now are early access games. What have we done to ourselves, gamers? Where are we? Shame on us. You will get no help, Theseus. The gods will not help. <laughs> 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 nah, I, um, yeah, I, Immortals I, I think they, greatness. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. You um, will get no help. I think that they definitely should have left Fortnite alone. Everybody else, who cares at this point? Yeah. Um, yeah. They should have left Fortnite alone because what Fortnite has done, like how many people play Fortnite? It's just your game isn't, it's not PUBG. Yes. The strategy, the, the, all of that shit comes from it. We understand that. But at the end of the day, yes, like you said, you waited too long and it is way too late. You know how many hatred you're going to get? You're going to get you're, you're going to get 285,000 people hating your 61,000 in the daytime. It ain't even noon mm-hmm. yet. It is 11:30. 
you gonna get that much hatred. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Let's say it goes through. People are gonna boycott your game. Man, I'm. I. You know what? For the culture, I ain't playing PUBG no more. Oh, he said for the culture. For the culture. That's how I'm much of a gamer I am. Anyway, so it's mm-hmm. easy for me. To get you. <laughs> I'm. I'm deleting Bro. it. I'm deleting my accounts. I'm un. Oh, unconnecting know. my accounts. All yeah. of it. Everything on there free yeah. anyway. Free and my wife yeah. bought me cards. Just, just, just like I didn't go get no caramel macchiatos either. <laughs> <laughs> Was you really boycotting Starbucks? Caramel macchiato. <laughs> <laughs> Extra caramel. <laughs> Extra caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I would like a mocha choker, something mocha. <laughs> Stupid. Let me get a frapper, a frapper. Frapper, frapper. I don't know. I don't know Chino. Oh, <laughs> it's the ice thing. Just make the ice. My grandma, Blend it. my Jamaican <laughs> grandmother, it my Jamaican grandmother's egg. Yo, just give me one of the ice things. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! But yeah, hey, man. but no, but hey, real talk though, you. You can't. You can't do that. You can, but you're not. Let's. Let, there you go. That's the word. You're not supposed to. You're not do supposed that. to do nothing like that. You're supposed to take that L and capitalize. Figure on something it. else out. Not go tell. Go tell. That's what they do. Or you. Tattling. Or you post a big man and buy Fortnite. Ooh. Mm. Epic Games. Ooh. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. Merger, Catch, merger. Look, <laughs> look, take this, take this twenty percent and shut up and mm-hmm. shut you down. Mm-hmm. Ooh, mm-hmm. you post the, you post the big man. It that's how you Ooh. do it. But that's how you know it's just pure. Like I hate you. It's hatred. Yep. I hate you. Hey, Give me my stuff bro, back. Why, why am I tripping on that? You know how gangster that would have been. Man, that would have. Shit, I been and you know them dudes. I want to say it's a Korean company, yeah. right? Korea, uh, over uh, the PUBG Corp. I'm not 100 uh, percent sure, but you could be. You could be right. I, I want to say it is, and mm-hmm. uh, correct me in the comments. Let me know. Uh, hey that, man, correct ooh. us on all of this stuff today. Yeah, anything we've been, we wrong we've about? Been, let us. Somebody been. actually did shout out. Um, it was about of mice and men, and uh, oh yeah, I know exactly who that is. Yeah, yeah, hey, shout out. I'd love, please, let if we're wrong, AK, let us know. I that's, know. D, that's DJ Moosey right there. DJ Moosey. DJ Moosey. Moosey, I appreciate you. Thank you for the sh- thank he, you for the correction. I don't a, like I, he is a fan. Look, if, he is a fan. Hey, I appreciate that. Shout out to you. I do not like if I'm sitting here speaking it incorrectly, like if I'm giving f- not facts, mm-hmm. please correct me. Oh, yeah. I have no problem with being wrong. I, I love being like, wrong. I, I love yeah because I'm learning wrong. something exactly. Yeah, like correct me. Don't let me sit up here and talk crazy without letting me know. And I have no problem admitting when I was wrong. Yep. So, um, but back to the point, that would have been gangster. Like, God, oh yeah, that's cool. Man. Y'all stay, y'all stay doing y'all thing. We're gonna buy you, and then guess what? Guess what? They could pull a Jay Z and just shelf them. Mm-hmm. But you let me just not right look. You'll, <laughs> look, you'll never come out. Mm-hmm. You'll always be beta. <laughs> Actually, hey, but how, hey, how an unfinished early access game getting rights to how you get <laughs> how you get updates? How you gonna get a up? How you go not an update, but how you're gonna get Thanos? Yeah, thrown in. How you getting all like you getting all of this special content and you ain't even finished? Bro, how about you finish this you damn game? Ark? Ark was in beta. It was in early access, mm-hmm. and they released DLC. I died. I hey, died. they doing. I was like. What? what you think these new maps is? These new maps is DLC. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> they, they I'm sitting there. I'm like, you should be ashamed if I, of yourself. If I gotta be upset, if I gotta be upset for how long your update is taking too long, you might as well finish my damn game. Cause I paid for this shit, and this is me talking to you, Epic, or not, not Epic. You PUBG play people, finish my damn game. <laughs> Don't Man. play with me. I'm tired of getting on early get access. This shit. And when I play on the computer, I got to download the test. I don't want to play on no damn test server. That ain't for me. I ain't no tester. I want to play the game. The full game. <laughs> Give me my experience. I gave you your $40. You got your $40, didn't you? Give me my experience. I didn't mail my money, so don't mail <laughs> me my money. <laughs> Go mail me my game. No, that was so funny. Remember that lady that was in McDonald's that was snapping off? 
She was like, oh. I paid with my card. <laughs> she was yelling. Oh. <laughs> she, she was yelling at the dude. The lady Bro, was like, I, uh, you don't have to yell. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. But, yeah, that, I mean, back on point hey, for the no. fourth, fourth, 44th time. Um, that is the truth. You, Bro, how are we fighting is... over an early access game? It's still early. Bro. They could do some shit that completely changes shit. Bro, they could just stop doing battle royale. Mm-hmm. And then, okay, so I, I, you know, Ooh, they you. should. You know what? They should throw like a team deathmatch eight v eight in there, Ooh. just to shake it up. Like, man, Call of Duty, what's up? <laughs> what's <Ooh>. up? <laughs> that'll be. That'd be some shit right hey, there. But ain't that ain't that something though that we've came to that? I'm okay. I'm all for change and advancement. Mm-hmm. I'm with that. I'm with it. Now, except yes, for I Pokemon, get... that is stupid. <laughs> no, but I bought it. Ah, no, let's. No, you bought it because you, you were no, a fan. You, this. you bought it because you were a fan. <laughs> look, there's a difference between advancement and doing something stupid. That was. <laughs> look at your bike. <laughs> That was stupid. Yeah. He was he You was still mad. played it? He was mad. Pokemon Moon, it took me a month to get through the first part. Not because it was hard, but because I would turn the game off on purpose and hope that the save would delete. <laughs> and I would hope that I could restart it and it would be better. That game. I, I mean, I thought it was, it was cool. I understand why you're upset, but I think it was it cool. Was stupid. It's cool. It's cool. It was dumb. It was cool. I didn't. I don't like the. <sighs> what Pokemon game do you like it better than? None of them. <laughs> okay, so it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> None of them. But it's a I lot of games like Mystery Dungeon. It's a. It's a lot of games. <laughs> it's a lot of games that they came out with new versions of it that wasn't better than you know previous versions. See, True. we knew. I know you like two. I know you like Gen two. I love Gen three. I think Gen three is the best. Yeah, but. The Sun and Moon, them them shit. Sun and Moon I, is probably like fourth on my list, out of the eight or the hey, seven. Let, James? Me, let me hit you. I got the perfect example of what Sun and Moon. What? Sun and Moon is the Fallout Four. <laughs> it it kind of is. What so you what? What didn't you like about it? How do you make Pokemon more linear than what it is? Advancement and technology. How? <laughs> How do you take a game that? Oh, then you linear? go. You gonna hate. You gonna hate the the new one that's coming out. Have you seen that one? Yeah. That one looked like booty. That like, I don't even think I'm gonna buy it. To be honest, First I don't want to play the, Pokemon the Go. Gotta, <laughs> the fact that I gotta burn calories to catch Pokemon. No. That's a problem for me. I don't want to. Like I gotta throw my actual arm. What if my arm hurt? What if I already I got those catch... on my phone? Can I trade well, them? Oh, no, no. Yeah, you could transfer it over. If you already have any Pokemon you have on your account, I really looked into it. Because mm. once again, I'm a fan. Yeah. So I'm going to look at it. I'm not going to just diss it off time. I'm a fan. I'm dissing and that I shit off top. I a lot of Pokemon Go. I lost some weight playing Pokemon I'm gonna Go. Tell you, I'm going to tell, tell you I'm gonna tell you why I'm dissing that shit off top. I'm dissing it off top because to, all I got to do on Pokemon, any other ones up until this one, is click, throw, Pokeball. I don't want to yeah. flick. I don't want to spin, then flick. I don't want to jump no. and then throw it, Bro, then throw you my. See s- people throwing. Throw my switch. They legit was throwing. Yeah, throwing balls. No, I don't want to do none of that. I just I'm want about you. To be buff. And then see the beauty with Pokemon. This is why I like Sun and Moon. This is one one aspect I liked about Sun and Moon was the fact that not on like well obviously there's more um, types. They got like the new fairy type. And all of that. Well, actually, I think that's the only new type, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, they got the Dark fairy type. Steel fairy, yeah, yeah. They got the fairy type, right? And that throws everything for a loop because now Dragon has more. They have another thing that that they're weak against and stuff like that. The all of the most of the Pokemon that are coming out now are dual typing. So now it ain't just no. I think I think I was looking the only the only type. That has one weakness, one two time weakness is normal. And you gotta be just straight normal. You can't be normal fighting. You can't be normal flying. Snorlax is the best Pokemon in the game. He's just normal. He's normal. And he only has <laughs> one of one super effective uh type against him, which is fighting. 
I looked that shit up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Snorlax is the best, and and that's how it is. But when, but I'm just worried on how that's gonna work with this new shit because it's more uh-huh. interactive. Like I gotta be interactive with it. Like I gotta move around, and then like I can give you my stick or give you another stick, and then you can flick it, and then catch your EV when I catch my Pikachu. I, I don't want to do that shit, man. Give me something new. Then they're bringing us back to Kanto. No. No! Gen 8 should be different Pokemon. It should be more. <laughs> it ain't just eight regions out here in this piece. Come on, man. Man, look. I'm... <sighs> I think I said a lot. I'm, you start breathing. I, you start breathing hard I'm a, I say a lot. I'm going I'm to give it a shot. But... <sighs> I'm going to wait for your review a, on it. A big but... If it's anything close to Moon <laughs> or Sun, I'm throwing it. I think I'm you should opponent. finish Moon. I can't. I, my body won't let me. You know what? How about this? You finish Moon, I'll buy you another game. Done. I, I can't wait to be. <laughs> so you, this game is so you finish. You finish. Oh, man, my moon is so awesome. <laughs> and this is this is what I mean. This is what I mean by finishing it. You have to. You have to beat all the trials. You have to at least catch Tapu Coco. And you know I don't catch no super Pokemon. You got, well, you, you're going to be forced to fight them anyway. So just oh, relax. okay. And then, uh, obviously, you got to do all that, you got to beat the Elite Four. And then you have to do one run through the Battle Frontier. Man. That's in game content. You need to oh, okay. experience the full effect of this game before I'm out here shuffling over. Eighty dollars because you want collectors editions and shit. I do like to collectors editions. Of course you do. Look at your room. <laughs> he said, <laughs> "Look at my room." <laughs> Basket the ambience. Yes, yeah, so. but hey, no, but okay. So now I like Pokemon Moon. Oh Moon's my great. god, we're we're at the end mark, and we sure did. Oh discuss, my gosh, we sure didn't discuss something we were supposed to discuss. What are we gonna talk about? Deadpool two. Oh yeah. Well, we can do it real quick. You can't I, just do it real quick. That yeah, two has a lot, a lot going yeah, on in yeah. there. Okay, we'll talk about it in the next one. Next but podcast. I just, long story short, I loved it. Mm-hmm. It's still the too. closest movie to the comics, mm-hmm. hands down. Hands yeah. down. I, 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 you know what? I think Ryan Reynolds does a great job. He was born for it. He was I born know. play. He he had not for no damn Green Lantern, Lantern. That was trash. Um, yeah, yeah. So, and and all the jabs. I think they had. They love taking them jabs. He said, "You're so dark. Are you from the DC universe?" DC universe. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall is what Deadpool best. Man. But we're gonna. We're, okay, so let's stop it here, folks. Please, 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 please. please. Subscribe. Make the sub Make button. The sub Smash button. it, punch it, destroy sub, it. Sub, as sub, long as you break sub. your computer after you sub. Sub. Yeah, that's all we care about. That's all we care about. And then um and then also check out our um check out my Patreon page. Um check out our individual YouTube pages. Go and support us there. You know, we're um we're working hard. We're trying to we're trying to make this our lifestyles. Yes. This yes. is what we want to do and we're we're really grinding, especially for having day to day nine to fives or nine pluses. Yeah, so to, I gotta go down my nine to five right after this. Yeah, so on this note, we're gonna call it. Please comment, con- contact us, Twitter, follow us on Twitch. Um, hit us up, man. We're all over the place. And then check out Tone Deaf Radio. Shout please. out to them. Shout out Tone Deaf. Um, we got Tone Deaf. We got all our links below. Humble Bundle and all that other stuff stream slide out yep. and i am done and i'm gonna shut up yeah i got some uh some grits to go warm up so oh i do got pop tarts yeah peace Thanks. Out.